that's a flexible seal at the bottom, then a three-sided flashing. And you can see the Tyvek is wrapped over the last flashing and taped. That is the way you seal a window. So now it's looking like an entryway, isn't it? Oh yeah, I like the windows. I do too, and then the door system is going to be installed in the next day or so, the door system, so that's going to be a cool feature on it, but we'll catch that when we're doing the brick. You can see the step flashing up there on the shingles. Mm -hmm. The step flashing is so that you see where the brick is going to go all the way through. Oh, okay. Right here, right here, they've cut, they've blocked this off so critters can't get in. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is going to be repaired and all, but but this is where the brick goes straight through. Now over here, you can see it better because there's no way a critter can get it because they blocked it off back here. Oh, okay, yeah. But this goes straight through with the brick and the step flashing that you're seeing up there is on each shingle. So we could do a, we could definitely get technical on the step flashing. It looks kind of wobbly right now when you look at it because it's not uptight against the brick. Then a counter flashing goes over each one. Okay. And that, that gets Tightens attached it up. into the brick. Yeah, it gets, and it pulls all those tight. So you'll see that. You can see how we're using a uh, flex seal on the bottom of the windows there. Mm -hmm. That's a flexible seal at the bottom, then a three-sided flashing. And you can see the Tyvek is wrapped over the last flashing and taped. That is the way you seal a window. Minimal amount of, of fasteners in the Tyvek. There's very, there's very few because you don't have to put a lot in there. If you're going to put your brick ties on, it's going to stay in place. So that every, way it's waterproof. Yeah, every time you make a penetration, there's just a little bit more chance of moisture getting into your, your sub sheathing, the OSB. But isn't this beautiful with the cedar and the projection and a little overhang? So with the splashing, if this was a, a custom home, then that's not the no typical order that you would put things up, right? Or yeah, it is. is. It? Oh, it okay. is. You would, you would put your uh, roofing flashing first, finish your brick, and then and oh. then after that. Now, normally you wouldn't have shingles on it, but you would have your flashing. That's the difference. Yeah. Okay. So working with the shingles and everything. Yeah, it's because this has a roof on it already. Mm -hmm. But normally what you want to do is dry the roof in. You don't put the shingles down, but you put your flashings in your and your dry down felting or your uh, synthetic roofing membrane first okay. and then everything is dried in. Okay. So you, this and roofing felt or synthetic membrane goes at the same time typically. So I've never seen it look like that before. Yeah, well we don't always have intersections with, with roof systems, older roof systems and, and newer walls. Mm -hmm. So well, that has to be really... Um, really careful because if you're going into an old roof to make sure that you don't get any leakage that's right it's really and then you've exact. got then you've also got to worry about critters getting in there mm -hmm. and she already had a critter in her attic at one time so we didn't want to add to that mm -hmm. but it's really starting to look like the fine project that we thought it would be yeah. and it's neat to see the vision coming true mm -hmm.